two fish swam the ocean blue, Harvey the scrod and tuna fish sue. And it seems these two could not agree on anything that happened to be. The water's cold. No, the water's hot. One would say what the other would not. Sometimes it doesn't matter, but you always do In a little place called Zazu You, you matter Yeah, you, you matter Me too You matter I matter I'm a modest Zazu You One is just the number Two can be complete, three can be a crown, and you, you can't be beat because you matter. Yeah, you. You matter. Me too. You matter. I matter. I I'm a modest Zazu you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. You're beautiful. Check it out, we got some weird tales. The real soap opera with weeps and wails. So sit on down, that's all you gotta do. And feast your eyes on the days of Zazu. Now let's get down and soapy. I've never decorated an aquarium before. I hope the fish like this stuff. I brought the gravel for the bottom. My dad let me borrow it from the driveway. Here's our first tenant. Now, this is Carl, my new pet. I say hi, Carl. Hiya, boy. Hiya, Tess. Hey, Tess, is that your face or did somebody drop a watermelon on your head? Very funny, Chris. Now, Carl wants to get to know you, Tess. Catch! Hey, you know, I like that look on you. Wear Carl around school a few days, and I bet you start a real fashion trend. Grizzle! Allow me. <laughs> Sorry, Tess. There's just no easy way to remove an octopus. That wasn't funny, Grizzle. Um, give me back the pencil you borrowed last week. I chewed up all the good stuff anyway. Here, let me wring it out for you. Oh, my shoes. Ew, that was disgusting. These are new shoes, and that was my last pencil. Come on, Tess, let's go to the school store and get another pencil. My treat. Weird. I keep hearing organ music. A dramatic sting is just the thing to take us into a brand new scene. They got pencils and papers and lots, lots more. Anything you want at the Zazoo store. It's good to have a job at school store, huh, Slogo? I am preferring tumbling, Logan. <laughs> How are they moving, sales-wise? Like one-legged the ox, going nowhere. Then simply give them away free with every lipstick purchase. But, Miss Divine, you are only consumer-type person who is buying lips of sticks. I am supposing not. Logan, our youngest, must be taking ordered music to Professor Zork. I'm delivering it immediately, bubbly, and also right away. <laughs> I'm pushy. I'm pushy. Oh! Yeah, Grizz, you're pushy. Well, I'll do it for real this time. These fresh papers, hear it crackling? <laughs> I was framed. Somebody get me out of here and away from him. Breathe out, guys. Give me a dry, smooth pencil that doesn't smell like Grizzle's lunch. Have lips on sticks, can make big red letters. Come with free price, 
Let's do. Sink. Free rafter. Rocks. Dozens of them. It's fun, you know. It's Rarf or Rama. Oh, they've cloned Rarf. One for every room of the house. Even one for the truck. You micro brain. They're dolls. Just dolls. See? Hey, this one's defective. Look at this mess. I'll bet you feel right at home. Hey, home is where the Rarf is. <laughs> Hey, if the shoe fits. <laughs> oh, by the way, did I mention how big your feet are? Yeah, did I mention that I'm not your friend anymore? Did anybody else hear some real dramatic organ music? Well, I don't care if you are my friend anymore because... because... because I got Boink! Well, Boink has a stronger stomach than I do. Yep, it's just you and me now, Boink. Buddies, forever and ever. Organ music. It's everywhere. Grizzle and Tess are over and out. But there's more to this than an angry shout. You don't need a pass to go to music class. Student, you are having seen Professor Zork, perhaps? Um, he's out. I think they got donuts in the teacher's lounge. Oh, it's pleasing sound. He's sounding like old folk ballad. What old folks are singing in old country. Oh yeah, let's hear it. One is for money, two is for Joski, three is for ready, and the four is for Boski. Four is for Boski. Really moved me. He's looking like it is moving both of us. I've got to learn that song. You've got to teach me that song. But first, must crack a deck of these stumbling with someday famous brother, Slogo the Greatest. Oh, but having much time for tumbling, crack a deck of sing later, Slogo, is important to pass on folk song. Keep our strange, non identifiable culture living. You've got to teach me that song. <laughs> Without logging for first time in short life, what is becoming of me? Reasoning, those fabulous fanatical acrobatical bonito brothers. Being very sorry, pupils, Logan has large, hairy new friend, but I am trying along without smaller brother. <laughs> And I'm getting rid of this, too. I don't care if the bugs do come back. Oh, Hello. Funny running into you like this. Have been thinking. Could have fooled me. You have a lost friend. Look, but it's dropping in store. Yeah. My own brother has run away with piano player. Bestest friends. Do everything together. So, what should we be doing first, bestest friend? Get me in there. Now Logan and Bully are playing, you see. Tess and Grizzle just don't agree. Slogo took a tumble and ran into Tess. Let's hit the cafeteria and check out the mess. Oh boy, I never thought I'd say this, but lunch is boring. Oh, peach halves, they're staring at me. There is no hope, Earthling. Our flying saucers have your planet surrounded. Surrender all your miniature poodles or face extinction. Nice impression, Grizz. Almost as funny as the one you did with the asparagus and milk. Well, you didn't get any laughs, boys. So you have to pay the penalty. <laughs> oh, boy, lunch used to be funnier with Tess. Yeah, just you and me, Boink, old buddy. It's never been better. Oh, you're more interesting than Grizzle ever was. And you smell better, too. Well, a 
at least somebody's having fun. All right, a distraction! <laughs> My favorite kind! <laughs> Juggle. <laughs> gotcha! You're rarf meat now. Pigskins <laughs> 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 have lost lunch. Grizzle can do that to you. Jeez. Everybody's so sad and crude. It's time for a musical interlude. Check it out. It's time for me to expand my horizons as a musician. It's traditional folk type music. Hitting it, Mr. Bully Person, a one and a two. <laughs> Desert Island for the aquarium. Coming with me, Grizz? Not unless I can live on it forever and ever. Hi, <laughs> 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 Naughty creature. <laughs> well, I've been looking everywhere for you. <laughs> and now the days of Zazu. Explained for you. As the plot gets thick, Boink thinks Grizzle's sick. That's what he said, but Rock thinks he's dead. It's a real mess. Watch slow go and test. said, you gotta own property. I christened the Boink Island. I'm looking out for me! Are you okay? Oh, it's Miracle! Hey, what's Boink's boots doing here? It's very strange. Then flying in, whole Boink was in boots. It's not a Miracle! Girl student is being on a roll! But if Boink was here when you came in, he can only be... Hey, you're not Boink into the aquarium. Nice and peaceful down here. Everybody gets along down here, too. I could learn to like this. Time to check out the local sites. I wonder if anybody's home. Welcome to Medieval World. I'm Carl, your tour guide. How you doing? Come with me as we relive the Middle Ages and you become overwhelmed by the squalor and pestilence that made the people of the Medieval Times the party generation. Five bucks. Last of my birthday money, but... Onward, party animals of the Middle Ages. Let's get this over with. Hey, Carl, do you have a giant pipe organ down here? The boy's at a party in a sunken castle. Rarf's having fits from his grizzle hassle. It's a lounge act. Rarfums, please eat. You know how disgusting you look when your ribs show. Oh well, I guess I'll just have to phone out for Chinese. Showtime here at 
at the lounge. Here's a little number written by one of Zazu Yu's own, the Grizz Ma'am. It's called the Rarf Rag. Hit it, Fernando, baby. <laughs> hey, hasn't he got the spirit? Come on, all you cats and dolls, get up and shake your booty. Well, at least some people are having a good time. Sure they are. I wrote that song. It's a terrific song. Wrote that little number during a major rarf ragging. That drum solo is so... Huh? Hey, she can't do that. I've got to save my best friend. If she saves Boink first, he's got to be her best friend. It's cartoon law. Don't sign anything till I get there, Boink, old buddy. I'm going to save Boink. No, I'm going to save Boink. 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 I keep losing friends. I'm having very bad season. He's long season, too. Here you am, beloved Slobo brother. I've been looking low, high, and in middle for you. It's tumbling time, no? Thinking you're having great good times with new Harry Frensky. Harry Bully student is having lots of friends, but only Logan has Slobo brother. I'm lucky, no? I'm lucky, yes. <laughs> I need to do this. I think it's seen us. Well, it's seen me. It smells you. Hey! It's Carl! A uh, Carl, my pet. Hey, Carl, you've seen Boink? Uh, you wanna, like, come along, Tess? You mean, you don't mind? Nah, no, we've come this far together. No way it could get worse. Not very authentic. The torture chamber had Muzak. Oh. Hey, you you were in trouble. I guess you guys being down here means you're not arguing anymore, huh? I'm not so sure. Yeah, well, it's it's not one of those simple answers. Uh, yeah, you gotta look at this thing from our perspective. Hey, check it out. A cable-ready clamshell. Two fish swam the ocean blue. Harvey the scribe and tuna fish sue. And it seems these two could not agree on anything that happened to be. The water's cold. No, the water's hot. One would say what the other would not. I'm so hungry. I'm so full. When one wore linen, the other wore wool. So one went east and one went west, each one thinking they went the best. They swam and swam and swam some more. For days, for weeks, for months, I'm sure. They swam and swam and swam, I guess, till Harvey met Sue, where East meets West. It's been a long time since we've disagreed, said Harvey to Sue, in between the seaweed. I've had time to think. I think this is true, that good things can happen in thinking things through. We swam around the world, beneath the blue sea, and the reason? You and I, we just don't agree. That's not the reason, Sue said to Harvey. With a flip of her tail, I must disagree. I missed you a lot, you scrodfish Harvey. So what if we never, ever agree? I like you a lot, and friends we should be, said Harvey the scrod. Tuna Sue, I agree. And so goes the story of Harvey and Sue. Two friends can agree, and can disagree, too. You know, Grizz, I have kind of missed you. Yeah, well, I've been feeling the same kind of sloppy sentimentality, too. Maybe you guys want a hug or something? Nah. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> I've had it with this soap. I don't know about you, but check out the end of The Days of Zazu. Oh, man, I'm putting in for overtime, Holmes. Well, I didn't know you could swim like that. You ought to see me with my shoes off. But what I want to know is, we were underwater, right? Yeah. How come Grizzle still smells so bad? 
Hey, call me a perfectionist. Or a very lip lock. Hey, your head cheese when I catch you, you mutant dog. The kids are cool. They're friends again. It's another show with a Zazoo end. We'll be back soon, you know when. But until we do, it's later, friends.